we're talking up uh, we're talking to uh, Heidi Kumnik Kumnik I hope I pronounced your name correctly Heidi Heidi is the creator of reusable snack bags and they are pretty amazing we've got some really cool show and tell for you a bit later on to, uh, through the show she's been making the reusable snack bags um, for six years now and she thought it was time to start making a difference and created the reusable snack bags or the reusable products to eliminate the amount of plastic that is wasted every year and oh my god isn't that amazing they are environmentally friendly they'll last you for a very long time and i've got proof of that the fabric is soft and breathable and tested to withstand 300 plus washes and i will go on there are they have been tested and certified by cpsia which i don't know what that means but i'm actually going to bring Heidi Ian, and she can explain Hello. it. Hello and welcome. Hello, thank you for having me. It's so, a pleasure um, to have you here. Thank you. <laughs> so, Heidi, this is amazing. Now, we met about a year ago. Yes. And I did a, I think I did a little video. We're at the Woodside Markets. You had your snack bags and I was selling shoes. <laughs> and we, went, we had stores next to each other, which was really cool. When the memory popped up on Facebook, I went, oh, my God, Heidi, I've been using your products for a year. And given the current environment that we're working in, um, there's a couple of things that we are, you know, we're living in a, a, a world where we are more and more isolated, obviously, because because uh, of the current situation. But access to fresh fruit and veg, you know, we're encouraged to stay home, uh, be isolated as much as possible, but we still have to go out and get our fresh fruit and vegetables. So, Heidi, I think what you've got is a brilliant, brilliant solution to help us keep healthy and eat healthy and stay healthy while we're in this uh this global crisis so ah uh, we've got can i just say i'm let you talk yet yeah? my mom was watching this show once and she said you don't let your guests talk <laughs> <That's> <laughs> I'm, okay. um, so sharon is saying hi uh ros is here as well Great to see you both here. And uh, now, Heidi, before, while, while we're moving through this, because um, we are in unusual times, but just how you came to be making reusable snack bags or your snack bags, what, what, how, what's the story? How did that happen? Uh, well, my daughter had just started kindy and um, the school and the kindies were talking about going nude food, so no plastic in their lunchbox. And basically they were getting rewarded for um, the class that had the least amount of plastic. So I got thinking and started playing around with some fabric and worked out what I wanted to do, but then I've, obviously I needed to source food-safe fabric. Um, so I, I sourced that and I've started making my snack bags and now into produce bags, knowing that they keep fruit and vegetables fresher for longer um, mm -hmm. and also doing bowl covers as well. So if you have leftovers, you can just pop one straight over your bowl instead of using Glad Wrap. So, and that was six years ago. Was it six years ago? It was a bit longer now. Uh, be, yeah, a bit over six years. Yeah, yeah, yep. So, so things have evolved, and you've got a, a, a obviously you're working from home, which yeah. is, um, and no, no markets now, which is no. you know, it's um, just online selling seeing, at the moment. We're seeing more and more people going, what, what can I do? Because the the cottage industries were really reliant on uh, on the market, so. So there is there is a whole um, a whole range of things now that are, have been traditionally offline uh, that are coming online, and I think what you've got is just so helpful for um, 
for for our current where where we're sitting currently. I have to say when when I first saw them, I was living in Adelaide. I now live on an island um, up in uh, just off the coast of, of Brisbane. That's actually it's an, it's actually it's like a part of the Redlands. Um, it's like a suburb. Um, <laughs> it's like it's only seven hundred people. It's tiny. You can walk around it in an hour. Um, that's actually not the real beach, but it's not far. So, <laughs> so, um, so but, but the thing is we would go, my daughter, um, she lives upstairs, I live downstairs. If you hear some thumping, it's not the rats in the ceiling, it's the kids running around. <laughs> She's got, there's a three-month-old baby, an 18-month-old baby and a six-year-old and two adults upstairs and as I get the whole bottom half of the house for myself, which is wonderful. So... Um, but they would go shopping once a week because the only access to the island is by ferry or barge. So they would take the car over, and they still do, obviously, but um, uh, there's no shops here. And they, you can't get fresh fruit and vegetables. You can, you could, uh, you could probably, I think the kiosk is, they, they close, uh, they're open at the moment from 8 till 2 and they, they do deliveries. So... I don't know about getting you could get limited milk and bread and that sort of thing so actually as far as doing shop on the shopping on the island it wasn't something or it's not something that you would you know you can't just duck down to the corner store and and grab yourself a free you know a, a you know a bud of celery stick or some apples or things like that so it actually was a bit of a production every week so we'd go over on the barge and you know get fresh fruit and veggies so keeping them fresh has always been, you know, because that's a weekly shop. And if you're buying fruit and veg in the shop that's maybe a couple of days old anyway, by the time you get to the other end of the week, the celery is sort of like this. <laughs> and I'm yep. just like, we need some solutions. Um, and and, I, and I'm just going, oh, my God, this is when I saw your stuff on me. That's great. That is so fantastic. We we need that. So so I actually bought some a year ago and we've been using it. I'll show you in a moment. But I just wanted to uh, just say hello to Margaret's here. She's hoping we're both well. I think we look pretty well, don't we? I mean, we're all, I think we're keeping our, um, our spirits up. Ros says she's not seeing any other comments here. Ros, I'm not quite sure they're coming through. So... Uh, there's new messages below. I'm not quite sure what's happening. Facebook is, um, Facebook's been a bit weird. Um, I'm grateful to have this medium to be able to get the word out when we can't actually connect face to face. But yeah, so, so six years you've been going. And mm -hmm. Heidi, you said that uh, in, the, in the intro, I didn't actually go into what they were made of and what they, um, you know, how did, firstly, how to source the um, the material because it is a special kind of material. I know they're certified, but what about some of the, you know. So a lot of research. Yeah. A lot of research went into it. And once I got in touch with the right company, I basically said to them I need them to be certified so that I can let all my customers know that there's no chemicals as well. So yeah. their factory is chemical free. Um, it does all come from America. Um, so obviously I probably won't be able to get any shipments for a while, but I've still got plenty of fabric to keep me going. Um, they're a polyester and a polyurethane fabric. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, very tough. So mm -hmm. I've actually still got a couple from probably five years ago. So yeah. still going okay. Um, but generally, you'd get a good two years out of them. Yeah, I'll, I'll show you mine in a moment. So you've got different fabrics. Have a, let's have a look at the fabrics that you've got. Plenty of fabrics. Um, so we've got, so this one, oh, this one here, um, I have got my oh, cauliflower ah. broccoli. I don't Sorry, know I'm about that. Cauliflowers like Pardon? seven dollars. The cauliflowers are seven dollars in the shops here. Uh, ours are up to nine dollars. Oh, I got. So I'm like gold at the moment. Won't be eating cauliflower bread for a while. But no, uh, I'll just try and move the camera and show you some fabrics. 
Um, so oops. I've got green. So any of your green vegetables. Um, I've got orange. I've got red. Um, I've got cute little ooga booga mm. for all the kids. Ooga booga. <laughs> yes, I love it. Ooga booga. Um, <laughs> And then, so these are the whoop, the dog oh, food covers. Yeah. So at least in the fridge, you don't have to put our foil on them anymore. Mm. Um, I've got a huge range of fabrics, but um, some of them I am getting a little bit short on. Oh, I've got that one. Yep, that's mm -hmm. the one you've got there. Yeah. A nice bright orange. Yeah. Um. I've got black, I've got white, I've also got, so this one here with my carrots in, um, so that's just a nice brown, which I generally would use for mushrooms. And I've yes. also got a chocolate brown as well. That yes, plenty, is. Plenty of fabric to choose from. I think I think that's the, they're really cool and you can do, I, I like the little um, avocado one. Um, uh, I use that. Uh, I've got a little. Yeah, I think you've actually for the school you've got oh, the name thing on there as well. So if people, if the kids take them to school um, when they if they're going to school, but they can put yes. their name on them, which I think is really good. But I've got one of those and I use it for the half avocado because I eat avocados every day. So that is fantastic. Look at that. Yeah. Yes. So this one is my large veggie bag. So I have. Uh, is, um, that, is that this this one? Yep. So that's the large. Yeah. And then I've got a size smaller than that, which is. Uh, this is the one that I've got my carrots in. I've got all of the measurements on my page. Yeah. And then I've also got a small one as well. So I've got, then, I reckon I've got one that's got this upstairs in, in my daughter's fridge, but it's got the um, the Velcro. Velcro? Yes. Yeah. So I do Velcro or zip. So. And I, I do I, also I, custom sizes. Okay, cool. So I just yep. want to, I'd like to say if you are watching here or for the replay, here live or for the replay, um, welcome. And we would love for you to let as many people know about this as possible because it really is, I think it's amazing that, you know, like we're, we're saving the planet. And, like, I've heard it said, I'm a bit of a, um, a woo-woo, and I've heard it said that this whole thing that's happening, this global crisis, is basically the universe's way for us to sit go so go sit in your room and have a rethink and <laughs> and i i think it's actually a really good time to sort of reset and take stock and and think about what we're doing and like and including how much we how much we waste and how much we you know the like you said for um environment for the environment so how much we can stop using things like plastics and alfoil and things that don't break down in the environment so this is a, a huge amazing alternative it really is so so while we've been set to our room for a rethink and <laughs> um let's let's think about you know sort of sharing all as as much of this helpful thing these helpful things that are going to help us all recover from this and live I, I believe healthier lives because you know it's you know that oh well, i'm just i'm oh, a bit overwhelmed with it all because it's like so many opportunities to really connect and get back to what's real so anyway <laughs> please please do um let people know if you want to have a look at what's on order, simply type snack down below and we'll send you a message uh, into your inbox that uh, will give you an opportunity to um, grab the link and have a look at what Heidi has. So uh, so you'd be constantly updating your Etsy shop and um, 
Yeah. I've I slowed down a little bit with Etsy at the moment because of the charges. Um, so I, I have only got limited amount on Etsy, but people just message me and see what I can do for them and I just post it and they can either pay direct debit into my account, like direct deposit into my bank account or yeah. PayPal or through yeah. Etsy. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So the link the link to your business page is above. It's in the in the post in the comments up here. Um and you can just click on that and send Heine a message. It's just yeah. Yep. So but I do want to show you this this celery, I bought this. It's not like this. It's like still solid celery, which is good. I would take a chunk, but then I'll be eating. So that's right. <laughs> um, so that's when did I, what's today? Thursday. So I got that. That would be a week. That would be a week that it's been in there and it's still really crisp. So. Um, the other thing, are you? I'd love to show you. I, we, when we were talking before we came on live, I um, uh, I remembered that I actually did a little experiment when I first got your bags, and you you said that's right. The video is still on your page, so what I might mm -hmm. do is a three minute video, but I'm going to play it. Um, so I just just going to grab it. Because let's do the Chrome tab and uh, bear with me. I've got a that one. So here's the video, and I'll just pop that on, and you will see. Because I can't even remember. I just found it on your um, on your Facebook page. So just make that big. And play. Side town, uh, sorry, the, yeah, the Woodside Town Hall for a pop up market last weekend. And I actually had a store next to the lovely Heidi from Reusable Snack Bags. And she has, she's made, I've kept this one, this is a little one uh, for lunch, this is a little lunch box, a uh, lunch bag that you can sent to school with kids that I've actually chosen to do. Oh, might be using the system resources. It's just buffering there for a moment. I don't know if you can see that, Heidi, but... Just... I can't see the video. Okay, so we'll just... Actually chosen see to if that do works. a test run with it. I've, I've bought some others, but I've sent them up to Queensland for my daughter. But I wanted to share this with you because what I did was about four days ago, I went and bought some mushrooms. And I put one of them in this snack bag. So it was a rather big mushroom. That's the one that was in this snack bag. And then I left the others in this brown bag because that's where we normally get mushrooms from. And then what I wanted to show, share with you was, God, this is amazing. So it's been in the fridge for four days and I'm looking at this. Going, mm. Okay, so this one was in the snack bag and you can see that it looks fresh. There's no wrinkles on the skin like it is. And this one, this way it feels different. This one was in the brown bag and you can see here, it's it, like it's really squishier and I'm just, hang on, I'm going to take my glasses off to see. Go figure. <laughs> but this one, you can see, this one has, I don't know if you got that there, you can see there. The wrinkles that you get are starting to perish and it's a lot squishier. This one, this one is firm. It's really firm. You can see I'm trying to squish it and it's firm. And this one, this one is really, really squishy. And you can see the wrinkles starting to, to pop up there. Oh, there's a good shot there, right there. And there's none of that 
on this one that was in the reusable snack bag. So if you are looking for a way to keep your fruit and vegetables fresh, I've actually got an avocado now and I'm gonna I've cut it in half because I make my morning smoothie with avocados and other green stuff. And I'm gonna put half the avocado in here, pop that back in the fridge instead of using glad wrap because I always use glad wrap and now I'm thinking this is so much better environmentally friendly keeps your food fresher oh my god everybody wins thank you Heidi for doing this thank you for inventing them thank you for having them there at the stall next to me at the Woodside, uh, Woodside markets pop-up markets last weekend amazing amazing stuff so reusable snack bags Heidi shout out to you great stuff thank you <laughs> Well, there you go. So that was a year ago. And um, I just, I, I'm still stoked. And it was a year ago and we're still, still using them. Of course, the ones that I sent up to Queensland, I'm now in my fridge downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I'm actually going to be putting in an order, um, or order for some more because um, when, when we get through uh, this crazy times, there's going to be, um, you, we, we, you know, the, they, they said they last up to two years. This is a year and they're still going strong and uh, and I'm definitely going to be ordering some more. I really like the idea of the, the bowl covers. Uh, I think that's great. And especially with kids, we've got, um, like I said, a, a three-month-old, an 18-month-old and a six-year-old and there's always, always opportunity to be putting because the amount of food that gets wasted because we you know we we just don't oh the chooks are happy but, <laughs> but but definitely looking at bowl covers so um so i'll be popping in an order when we finish here uh ros is saying it's a great idea she likes using the wax see if i can get that comment up she no um some reason i'm not able to pop the comment up but that's okay she likes using the waxed cotton organic cotton wraps for covering things in the fridge as well okay i'm not sorry there's a lot a lot of things that you can yeah for some reason i can't pop the comment up that's okay all good so is there anything that you'd like to share with us or um just any uh go with the bowl covers you can actually put them over raw meat um unlike with the beeswax ones um because obviously you can't wash them with hot water these ones can go straight in the dishwasher the washing machine or you can hand wash yeah. so it, it can be used to put like if you're chopping up chicken for a stir fry and want to put it in the fridge you can put the bowl cover over it so if it is touching the meat that's fine and just pop it in the dishwasher well yeah no that's that's a really good yeah because obviously like yeah the, like you said beeswax well you know uh, <laughs> um yeah so i'm have ros is saying uh, comments have been weird this morning yeah i think we've we've had some issues over the last couple of days but that's okay because we're here and uh um we bought this amazing reusable snack bag so they're more than a snack bag though aren't they so you know you can uh, um great for picnics too i'd imagine if you want to go out and although we are encouraging yeah. people to just you know stay in stay home go out into your yard the picnic <laughs> get some sunshine fresh air fresh food as much as you can to keep yourself well thank you so much heidi really appreciate thank you, you very much for having me appreciate you jumping on and it was short notice but it was like hey there yeah, let's do this and boom we're doing it so, <laughs> even with tech no, issues we're still, we're still showing up so thank you so much um don't go anywhere i'll uh, just wind this up and then i'll uh, i'll sure. see you in the lobby in a moment so. thank you okay so heidi um from reusable snack bags and i'll just pop that off uh thank you for joining us so much uh really appreciate it and if you are interested please just type snack 
in the comments and you'll be able to have a look at the range that she's got on Etsy. If you find that there's something there that you, you know, you'd like something custom made, you are welcome to message her on her Facebook business page, which is the links above, and you'll be able to you'll be able to um, have a chat with Heidi and let her know what you're looking for. So that's for a Be My Guest. That's it for Be My Guest for today. And we do, I do look forward to seeing you next time. We don't have a regular, we being the Royal We, I don't have a regular uh, time slot scheduled in just yet, but uh, that may be coming because it's, uh, it's sort of like running live. If you are on any other pages, we do cross post. So if you do want to, um, if you do want to, have a look at the uh, the snack bags uh, you will need to be on mytimetv.live to make the comment to be able to get the link in messenger and um and so, so if you're on any of the other pages um please feel free to pop over to mytimetv.live and also have a look at the other presenters the other shows and the other show hosts have got um, some amazing things coming down the pipeline for you to uh, shine a bit of a light and have some really helpful uh, information as we pretty much stay home and um, and if you're sick of Netflix, come to my time. <laughs> okay, <laughs> bye for now.